Everyone wants the best for their vacation. Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hotel tips for a better stay. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at some helpful tips, tricks, warnings, and hacks to help you get the most out of your next hotel stay, in the hopes that you can have the most peaceful, sanitary, safe, and enjoyable experience possible. Number 10. Pack electronics wisely. When you're at a hotel, quick and easy solutions to your electronic needs are rarely within arm's reach. From the often immovable desk to inconceivably placed plugs, hotel rooms are not exactly tech-friendly, so pack for the worst-case scenario and save yourself the headache. Bring extra long charging cables and duplicates in case an essential one stops working, plus a power bar with a short extension in the off chance that the closest outlet is behind the bed. Also, don't forget an HDMI cord so you can connect your laptop rather than settle for the in-room content. Number 9. Protect your privacy Hotels are usually long corridors full of identical-looking doors, so if you're waiting for a friend or partner to join you, either make sure they have a key or arrange a specific time to expect them so you can open the door without any surprises. The thing is, closing the door to lock it isn't enough, at least not where housekeeping is concerned. They have the tendency to come by earlier than you'd like, and if you're a deep sleeper or wearing earplugs, you might be in for a very rude awakening. If you value your beauty sleep, go ahead and use that handy little do not disturb sign, and then guarantee no one gets in by employing the safety latch as well. Number 8. Don't trust the bedding We don't support paranoia, so we understand some might think that this is all overkill. But when you check into your hotel room, one of the very first things that you should do is check the corners and seams of the mattress and bedding for any signs of bed bugs. It's also recommended that you never put your suitcase on the bed. Bed bugs live and lay their eggs in clothing, furniture, and bedding. They generally don't cling to skin or hair. Only get into bed wearing dedicated sleepwear and keep it contained within a quality zipper sealing bag. And while bed sheets are usually sanitized with extreme care, duvet and comforters can often go unwashed between guests. So you might want to ensure the sheets are well positioned to maintain some separation. Number 7. Be wary of the room items. Hotel rooms tend to be similar. There's going to be a TV and an accompanying remote. There's going to be a bed and one or two bedside tables. Most likely, there will also be a desk and chair. You're more than likely to have a mini fridge, ice bucket, and two glasses. Now, let us stop you right there. With the exception of treating it like a vessel to keep beverages cold, you should never use hotel ice buckets. They can get used for all manner of nasty things. Hotel ice machines also often go uncleaned. Sadly, the same goes for the drinking glasses, which may only get a quick rinse between guests unless visibly dirty. Then there's the TV remote, which likely rarely gets cleaned. Number 6. Don't let the hotel do your laundry Hotels offer a wide variety of extra services, but extras cost money, way more than you'd typically be willing to pay for any comparable products or experiences outside the bubble of the hotel, like, say, room service. If you want the convenience of not having to leave the building, do a quick Google search and order takeout instead. Both the value and quality are likely to be much better. By the same token, in-house laundry service prices are best compared to highway robbery. Depending on the hotel, you may be charged what you'd expect to spend on an entire load of laundry for just a single article of clothing. So if you're really in a jam and have no other choice, be sure to get a quote first. Number 5. Be sure you know what you're getting. As useful as lengthy descriptions, interactive maps, and photo galleries can be, it's important to remember that these are marketing tools. If a hotel has 20 or 40 rooms within a single price range that they deem to be interchangeable, rest assured that the nicest one was photographed. A picture of a room with a balcony is not a guarantee of a balcony unless stipulated in the description. When reading over the description, try to see through the flowery language to get at the bare-bone facts. Get in touch with the hotel to confirm that the room will in fact meet your expectations, and when you get there, if something about the room is not as advertised, you have the right to ask to be shown another room. Number 4. Little things can make a big difference There are many other small items that you can pack when traveling that will make you feel more at home. First, and perhaps the most effective, is to bring a scented candle with you. 
Hotel rooms tend to veer in one of two directions in terms of odors, slightly damp and stale, or overwhelmingly like cleaning products and air fresheners. One inspires dread, the other nausea. If you have a scented candle that smells comforting, it can not only mask those aromas, but also give your hotel room something that few have, a sense of coziness. Other ways to make yourself feel more at home include bringing your own slippers or flip-flops, packing a photo from home, and bringing your own toiletries. Number three, tipping a little can get you a lot. Tipping can be frustrating, but that's the way of the world, at least in North America. And for many people in lower income positions, the amount they get paid hourly actually takes projected tips into account. Translation, if you stip them, they might not be making a living wage. Thankfully, you have the opportunity to offer up this gratuity early on during the interaction, meaning that the hotel staff can actually express their gratitude in kind, unlike, say, with taxi drivers or servers. A couple of bucks a day for housekeeping is often the difference between a clean room and an immaculate one. A hotel concierge should always be courteous, but when you add a little tip, they become your ally in getting the most out of your stay. Number two, if you're missing something, ask. Complimentary shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and soap are all part of the package when you book a hotel room. But what far too many people are unaware of is all of the complimentary stuff that isn't already in the room. Hotels want to make a lasting impression and earn your repeat business, and they've got the supplies to make it happen. Did you forget your toothbrush, comb, toothpaste, hairnet, or dental floss? Talk to the front desk. Chances are that they have a stock room of extras they'd be happy to give you. Or yes, sometimes sell you. Even for more expensive items, they might have loaners that you can borrow. And you can bet they have an umbrella with your name on it. Number one, brand loyalty can beat bargain hunting. Most people use booking sites in a bid to get themselves the absolute best deals on hotels. Here's the thing though, that's just the best price being offered to the faceless masses. When you're already a repeat customer, or better yet, a member of a loyalty program, that's when you really start to get the royal treatment. Free stuff, surprise greeting baskets, effortless upgrades, a complimentary meal in the dining room, these are just a few of the perks that you might receive when you continue to book with the same hotel or brand. A good way to start such a relationship, that might also just save you some money, is to find a hotel you like the looks of online, through a booking site, get a quote, and then contact them directly. Who knows, it might just be the start of a beautiful and mutually beneficial arrangement. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.